All right, well, welcome everybody. My name is Michelle Clark, and I am so excited that you are here with us tonight. Um, we're going to share with you some of our favorite summer essentials because summer is not over yet, even though it's middle of June, we still have time left. So these little tips and tricks will hopefully be helpful for you. Um, I'll just tell you a little bit very briefly about me because there's several of us sharing. So I'm going to be trying to be brief here, <laughs> but I've been using oils for about five and a half years now. And we got started with them just because we were having some health things going on in our life and we were looking for more um, natural ways to support our bodies. And so Young Living came into that picture and it has been a total game changer for us. It took us down a whole road of um, just getting toxins out of our house, you know, didn't realize all the toxins that were in our house at the time. Um, and we just incorporated them into absolutely everything we do, including summertime and um, how we function through the summer. So I'm excited to share with you. And I do want to share that any of the oils or products that we're talking about on this call tonight, we are talking specifically about Young Living Essential Oils. And the reason for that is because they are the best. <laughs> Young Living has our, that's my opinion, um, our seed to seal guarantee. And that is something that no other company has. So what that means is that we control everything from the ground that the soil is planted in, the seeds that are planted, um, everything's hand weeded on the farm. There are no pesticides used. You can even go to the farms and pick the weeds yourself. I've been able to do that and it is such a great experience and I encourage anyone, if you get the chance, go to the farm. They are amazing. And for me, that was like, what stood out was the transparency of Young Living and that you get to go and see the whole process, even the distillation of the oils, you can talk to the farmers. It is so much fun. So that is one of the reasons why Young Living is the only um, essential oils that I will allow my family to use or allow in my home. Um, so we are only speaking about those tonight, just in case there's any confusion. And a little safety tip, because we are talking about summer. So for those of you fairly new to oils, I know this is not a, like a basic cl intro class, but there are two places that you never want to put oils. You don't want to put them in your eyes and you don't want to put them in your ears but you can use them around your eyes and around your ears. And for citrus oils, because it is summertime and you are going out in the sun, citrus oils are photosensitive. So you don't want to apply them within 24 hours of going out into the sun. Um, the exception to that, which I recently learned, thanks to Tracy Jones, is that grapefruit, it is not photosensitive. So that is one of the only one of your citrus oils that's not photosensitive. So. Maybe that's new for you guys too. I thought that was like really cool to know. Um, and then some of our favorite oils, of course, all the oils in the starter kit are amazing for use all summer long. And you're gonna see that as we're like throwing several in, but we're gonna add some extras too. And I'm gonna just go over really quickly a few of the oils you're gonna be hearing about tonight. So citronella is a big one. That one's kind of like self-explanatory because you know we have citronella stuff you know, that's been out in the world all over the place. So citronella is great. I love to apply this before going outdoors to keep critters away. Um, dye dries is another helpful, handy oil to keep on hand because I don't know about you guys, but at this, in the summertime, we tend to um, in, overindulge a little bit on some yummy foods or treats, um, <laughs> especially a day at the beach. So dye dries is, and peppermint, those are gonna be your two best friends. Um, for things like that. And speaking of peppermint, um, peppermint is also a great oil that is wonderful for cooling yourself down. So you're gonna get a fun little DIY recipe on that one in a bit, um, but it's one you wanna keep handy. And of course, lavender. You know lavender is good for all the things. So if in doubt, you're gonna wanna use lavender. Even when we're out at the pool or out at the beach or out at the park or anywhere, this oil is with me in my bag at all times because if I have nothing else to use, I can grab this one. So this is your best friend, keep it with you. Um, and next we have purification. This is not in the starter kit, but it is one that if you don't have it, you need to put it on your list because you're gonna want it for summertime and really all year round for many things, but you'll, um, you'll be hearing about this one very shortly too. It's one I also like to use if we're gonna be going outdoors with a lot of creepy crawlies around, um, or if the creepy crawlies get us too, it's fabulous for that. And basil, 
This is one I learned about a few years ago, but this is one that I also like to keep handy in case we're out and about and anything creepy crawly or fly in with the stingers get us. Um, it's wonderful and amazing. Um, so that's another one. So those are like some of my favorites for the summertime to keep on hand and keep handy. Um, and then I think we're all gonna share with you our favorite like outdoor deck diffuser combo blend to keep critters away. Um, because if you didn't know, you can take your diffuser outside and you've got a natural thing to keep your environment, you know, critter free. Um, so citronella and purification and peppermint are my three top favorites for sticking in my diffuser to keep my outdoor experience annoyance free. So I hope those little tips are helpful for you. Um, I'm gonna pass this on very shortly, but we're all gonna be sharing, just so you have an idea of what we're doing, um, everyone's gonna be sharing something with you. It will either be a DIY recipe, because with your oils, there are tons of things that you can DIY. But if you're not the DIYer, don't worry, Young Living's got you covered, because we also have tons of ready-made products that you can just stick in your cart and are ready to use, and you don't have to do anything to them. Um, so we'll be sharing that with you. We'll be posting recipes in the comments because you're going to see that even though, um, say Shauna may share one recipe with you, I may use a few different oils for it. So we'll all be sharing different little tips in the comments. So just be mindful of that. Um, go with your gut when you're oiling and use what you think. And of course, your reference guide, your reference guide is going to be your best friend. I don't have one to hold up to show you, but the reference guides are amazing. Carmen's going to hook us up. Those are wonderful. So if you don't have one, grab it for anything that comes up in your summertime, you know, life, you can, year round, you can open that book and take a peek in there. <laughs> yes, and like Tracy just said in the comments, don't be afraid to experiment. Don't be afraid. So let's have some fun. Okay, I'm gonna pass this on to Shauna and she's gonna share with us some DIYs. Hi, I hope everybody's having a great summer so far. My name is Shauna Wilkins. I am a mom of three. I actually had to move because my father is ready for bed and she was screaming. So it starts for the dark room. But I'm a mom of three and I have five step kids. Um, luckily, it's just the three at home right now. The last babe was an oily pregnancy and an oily baby. Um, and it's been a completely different experience having an oily baby. It's awesome. I love it. Um, I've been using Young Living for three years now and my friend Michelle there. She introduced me to Young Living back when our girls were doing gymnastics together. Um, if you've never had any bit at gymnastics, we sit on the bench for three hours at a time and she <laughs> run out of things to talk to and I see her obviously using her oils all the time. Um, so between her and her girls. So after about two years, I finally made, made it to a class and it has literally changed my life. Um, not only have I come into a ton of friendships that I never thought were possible. Um, but I also didn't realize just how many toxins were in my house. Um, I was initially just interested in, I thought it was a quick fix um, to kind of help my back and stuff. Um, and I quickly realized that it's a lifestyle change um, and one that I'm glad I made. I have since learned how important it is to know what we're putting in and on our body. Um, and I can say everyone in my household is so much healthier now that we took control and we've made that lifestyle change. I've always had a passion for helping other people, um, whether it was when I was in the Army, in the fire department, or now helping others take, take control of their life too. So that's just a little bit about me. Um, we're going to go into things that I enjoy for the summer because n nobody wants critters to ruin their summer fun, right? So I'm going to share with you some DIYs and like Michelle said, there's also some pre-made products that Young Living offers. Um, critters really like to gravitate towards me and my kids um, and we swell up really bad when they get us. So this was a must-have for me. Before I went toxin free, bug spray was never something I liked putting on myself and my kids, but I felt it was a necessary evil. Um, and now that I know better, I do better, right? So let's start with some of the DIYs that I like. Um, and like Michelle said, if some of my friends use different recipes on this, that's okay. Um, they'll put, hopefully put it in the chat and you'll get multiple to go from. 
and because there really are a bunch of different oils that work to repel insects and critters, um, and everybody has their preference. So I'm gonna start with a outdoor spray, and I just use a little two ounce bottle, um, and I, I fill it with approximately 25 drops of oil. Um, and you can split that up between the different oils that you use. So a couple that I like using is purification, lavender and peppermint is one. You, once you put those drops of oil in there, then you're gonna fill it with either with hazel azacha and water. Um, my original recipe that I, was my go-to recipe is, was purification and citronella. Um, and to be honest, my first one was, I just used straight purification. Um, and if that's all you have, you can also put purification in the palm of your hand and rub it on you. Um, rub it around your hairline, rub it on the bottom of your feet, and it will actually help repel uh, that way. So don't worry if you don't have a spray bottle, you can just use straight purification. At least I could. Um, so those are some of my DIY outdoor sprays. And you just spray it on your clothes, on your body, um, and it just helps to repel. You can use it on your pets, your kids, any of them. The next one I wanna talk about is a roller. Um, for when they get you. Because sometimes we don't get it on early enough, right? We don't think to spray it until after we start itching. So in a roller bottle, if you've never seen the roller bottles, um, this is a 10 milliliter. And I usually do about 10 drops of per oil. So if I have two oils, it'll be 20. If I have three oils, it'll be 30. And a good one to put in this one is purification, basil, and lavender. You just put the drops of oil in there. This one's getting low. Um, but you put a drop of oil in there and then you fill it with a carrier of your choice. Um, carrier oil being grape seed, coconut, um, help me out ladies. Those are the two that I use for the most part. Um, almonds. So whatever your choice of carrier oil is, you can just fill it with that. My favorite deck diffuser recipe, and we just covered my deck because I'm out on it all the time. Um, is citronella, lemongrass, and spearmint. Um, spearmint will actually help keep the gnats away. Um, that's one that I love to use. So I put those three in there, citronella, lemongrass, and spearmint. And it, they actually combine really well. It smells, I can't tell you what it smells like, but it's got its own unique smell, but it smells really good. I like it. And I like that it keeps everything away. Um, if you're not a DIYer or you want to have some pre-made stuff already done up for you, Young Living has their insect repellent. And it is tested to repel mosquitoes, ticks, and fleas using only 100% of naturally derived plant-based ingredients. It has pure sesame oil and carefully selected blended blends of oil, essential oils um, traditionally used for their bug repellent properties. They come together to make up 99% of active ingredients in this formula. So what's that other 1%? Vitamin E oil. That means you can use this on your little ones and not worry about the synthetic chemicals that are used in many traditional oils or um, repellents. Like when I got started, I was like, you know, it's just something I get that up. I've got to use them. I'll just find the best smelling one. Um, <laughs> with this one, you'll, you'll have the pleasant citrusy aroma and smooth, non-greasy, non-sticky application. So I, I really like this one, a couple squirts in the hand, and it rubs on kind of like lotion. Um, it's a, it is an oil-based, so it's thin, um, but it rubs on really nice. So it helps whether you're spending time in the backyard or the backwoods, wherever you need it. Um, with this, they also make wipes. So they're just pre-made wipes, and you just rub those all over the body, wherever you want to cover. Um, I prefer the bottle. I think, to me, it's just easy to apply. You know, some, some people I know do like the wipes better. So it's just personal preference. So like I said, it is tested to repel mosquitoes, um, ticks and fleas. It, um, it is hypoallergenic and, and vegan friendly. Sorry, I was just looking at a couple of things listed on it. Um, everything else, you know, like I said, it's just, gentle formula free from synthetic chemicals. So it's something that I really trust to use on, on my kids. 
I don't have anything past that, so I'm going to pass it on to the next one so that we can make sure that we stay on time. I hope you enjoyed that. I think I'm next. Right, Michelle? <laughs> okay. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Alyssa. Um, I live in Williamsburg. I am a mom of two, um, a little one, a little boy that's getting ready to go into first grade. And then I have an 18 year old that's getting ready to start her, <laughs> her freshman year at Radford. Um, so I've got a lot of busy stuff going on. Um, been using oils and just young, young living. That's the only company I've ever been with, um, for about five and a half years. Um, Michelle and I both started at the same time and we are oily friends and neighbors. Um, so yeah, it's fun around here, but, um, and also I have two very large dogs and, um, one new kitty, my dogs together weigh like 400 pounds. So that's a little bit of information about me. Um, I am going to talk to you guys today about the first thing is a uh, DIY cooling mist. Um, this is awesome. Um, I just like to put mine in a little, sorry, it's dark in this room. I apologize. Um, a little, I think this one's a two ounce bottle. I'm pretty sure. Um, I have all different size bottles. Um, a little bottle like this, and um, it's a combo of um, peppermint, lavender, uh, witch hazel, and water. Um, and this I just like to carry with me everywhere because especially right now, it's so hot, so, so hot outside. Um, and we just started uh, uh, baseball again. So sitting outside, oof, struggling, but I love it. I love baseball, it's so fun. Um, but this is nice because the peppermint gives you that nice cooling effect. Um, and sorry, we have a little commenter. <laughs> so if you guys hear that in the background, I apologize. <laughs> He really likes to get into it, <laughs> but um, this is nice. So you've had the cooling and the soothing. Um, it's super refreshing. If you don't have a bottle, a spray bottle, and yours, you just have peppermint with you, you can just take peppermint um, and just kind of, um, like, kind of like Shauna was talking about, but you can do the same thing with peppermint um, and get that cooling effect. And um, since it's essentially a hot oil, you'll get that cooling effect with peppermint as well. Um, and then the other thing I'd like to talk to you guys about is your DIY after sun spray. And this is awesome. Um, if you're a DIYer, this is so, so simple to make. Um, and it's a nice chemical free way to do it as well. And knowing that you're getting some good stuff on your body, especially if you've um, been out in the sun a little bit too long. Um, my 18 year old is so pale. She, she's like, um, She's like Michelle. Um, she's very, very light pigmented and she has red hair. Um, and we, I can't even tell you how many times she's been in the sun. And even with a ton of sunscreen, um, she sometimes still burns and will blister, unfortunately. Um, if I'm not with her, that normally doesn't happen when I am with her, but if I'm not with her. Um, but anyway, so this is a lifesaver to us. Again, in just a little, um, bottle. Um, this is one that I just had handy. Um, but you do, it's a combo of probably about, I think I did a, a one tablespoon of aloe vera um, gel, which you can get off of Amazon. Um, and then it's a mix of a water. And then we've got your lavender, your peppermint. And then if you do have it, um, helichrysum, which is an amazing oil. Um, I, I, it just sticks in my mind as like healing. Um, I obviously that's, I mean, it says helichrysum, but I don't know. I just somehow coordinate. I'm not saying it's healing you, but I'm just saying that's how I coordinate it in my head. Um, but it's just nice. Um, I also like helichrysum for, I've been using it lately in this. I don't know. This is just my mind telling me what I need to do. Um, lavender helichrysum, mixing it together in a roller because I have a few really awful little marks, bug bites on my legs. Um, and they're like these just like red. And so I'll literally just roll on the helichrysum and the lavender on those and, oh, and frankincense. I put frankincense in it too, um, to try to just help heal that up a little bit. Um, but, uh, and I, I love it. It's helping greatly. 
kind of diminish that color and everything. Um, but those are the two things I wanted to share with you. And hopefully um, you'll enjoy those. And if you haven't tried them, I absolutely suggest that you do. They are super, super helpful. So um, I don't remember who's after me, but I'm going to go ahead and pass the torch. Oh, Carmen's next. Hey, Carmen, you're looking good, girl. You getting some sun over there in your room? <laughs> there you go. I'm on mute now. Yeah, it's sunny here. I can get in a tan. Look, you see? <laughs> all right. So I'm Carmen Iris, and all the information that has been um, shared already is amazing. And I really liked summertime. I'm a winter, actually, girl type girl. <laughs> but summer, it makes me happy too. So, but I prefer winter. But I love to be protected and to help my skin um, to stay healthy throughout the summer. So I'm going to share with you my favorite product that I use during the summer. And that is called the After Sun Spray. So it's this one over here this little guy so i like it because it has two good function and it's that it relieves um the your skin from minor burns minor cuts sunburns scrapes insert bites and minor skin irritation so it soothes your skin and also relieves the pain of those areas so that is why i love it so much because is um the the key ingredient of it is menthol uh, from mint and it helps uh, support your skin when you have those issues and it's a good it's a really good product to have always with you in your purse and when you go outside so and also this product I like it a lot because it's dermatologist tested and hypoallergenic so it's a really good um, kind of safe product to use for the whole family and um, and it provides that immediate relief it promotes healthy looking skin. So this one um, is, um, we have also one that is called Lavaderm cool, Cooling Mist and the Lavaderm um, After Sun Spray. So the different, the difference, just to let you know how this one it is, the cooling mist is like a liquid mist and this one is like a lotion, like a skin lotion type um, spray. So that is really good. And, um, and also it has that natural menthol. So that's what is um, like very good to go um, product. Does not have those type of um, bad chemicals that other product that you can find in other after, uh, after sun products uh, in the market. So this one does not have alcohol, does not have parabens, petrochemicals, animal derived ingredients, synthetic preservatives, synthetic fragrances, and synthetic colorants. So that is why it's a really good product to have. And I do not have a DIY product to show you, but I do have a DIY tip. How about that? <laughs> do your own tip. So my tip is that throughout the year, that is something that I learned. I'm a, I am an ophthalmology technician and through before I was, I started working in this field, I never thought about wearing sunglasses or wearing hats. And even that I'm from Puerto Rico, I was not never interested in using this type of accessories there because I was never taught to do it. My mom was not even a fan of sunglasses. I never saw her wearing sunglasses until she aged. <laughs> and uh, so that is a, just the tip that I want to share with you is that always wear your sun, sunglasses and, um, and hats throughout all year, mostly in the summer, because um, when you wear sunglasses, you are helping your eyes to, you know, to, um, the, to not to get some type of eye diseases like cataracts and growing things in your eyes, things like that. But the important tip is that when you pick up sunglass, sunglasses, just to be sure that it has 99 and 100% um, protection from UVA and UVB. But, I have something related with the class too. So I know that the ladies will say, she's talking about those tips or what happened with the oily thing. I have something for you too about that. So it's just a recipe and that I use outdoors. I, um, it's called the night on the patio, the patio. So that one is 
um, I'm going to type it there on the, in the um, comments that it has three drops of lemongrass. Who does not love, lemon, love lemongrass? Three drops of citronella, two drops of peppermint, and two drops of thyme. So it smells amazing. It keeps the annoyances away. And, um, and it's a really good, also good scent to have in the patio when you're just joining your friends and enjoying your glass of wine or the greens that you may like. So that is everything for me today. And I know that I forgot to introduce myself how I started with Young Living, but that's okay. That's why we're live here. And um, so I started with Young Living 2015. My friend uh, Michelle uh, introduced me to Young Living 2016, and now I feel amazing and I'm happy. And if you want to know more about me, you can find me on Facebook, all right? So next, I think that is Anne. Yes, yes, it is me. Um, hi everyone, I'm Ann and I have been using oils, um, it has actually been since 2015 as well, and Michelle introduced me. Um, and my story, basically I, I just love the oils. I started when I was diagnosed, it was a medical diagnosis and I wanted to have alternatives and, and other things to use. Um, and then like Shauna and other people have said, I learned how everything in and on my body um, might was being was toxic and could also have affected my health so um i'm very thankful for all the oils and i love them um so what i'm going to talk about is actually sunscreen and i i do that diy but um i think this in this part of my life right now i think it's just easier for me to sometimes just kind of you know buy it and grab and go um so the sun i just wanted to briefly uh, um talk about just the benefits of the sun. To be in the sun is really beneficial. Um, it helps you to have more energy, it increases your levels of serotonin, it gives you natural vitamin D. Um, so it's, the sun is really good just to get out there to exercise, especially during this time of, of what we're in right now. Don't forget to go outside and, and get the sun. So um, uh, I was looking up and it says, only 15 minutes of the sun provides enough exposure for um, you to get all the vitamin D you need. And actually, Young Living came out with a vitamin D um, supplement. So on those months of the year that we don't get as much sun as we do, um, vitamin D is, is great for all, all year long. And now we have one from Young Living, so that's amazing. Um, so sunscreen. So what the sunscreen that we buy in the store, a lot of it, has um, nasty chemicals in it actually. And today I was looking a lot of the information um, to see what kind of chemicals and things are, are in products. I go to EWG, Environmental Working Group, and it tells, um, if you like type in a product, it will tell you um, the good and the bad about it. So the things that are in sunscreen that we buy um, normally has oxybenzone and oxybenzone going to read some of this here, um, is widely used chemical active ingredient. Um, it is a skin sensitizer and potentially a hormone disruptor. So that is awful that we're actually putting something in our body that's causing more issues. Um, another thing is actually retinol. Some of the, the our skincare products and our anti-aging products and our sunscreens has retinol in it. And it Retinol is good, but when you use it when you're in the sun, it actually can cause damage. Um, you can develop skin tumors and lesions from, from that, and so you should definitely avoid it if anything has vitamin A or retinol in it. And then, of course, that term fragrance. Um, all of those, a lot of our skincare products and sunscreens have the word fragrance in it, and we are allowed that the word fragrance can meet up to like 4,000 different ingredients. It's crazy. Um, so a lot of times those fragrance blends have phthalates. I'm not saying it right. I'm not sure, but they are also hormone um, interrupters and it can cause skin um, sensitivities. Some people have allergic reactions to it. So they are all things that you should definitely avoid. 
So luckily Young Living came out with their own sunscreen and it is mineral based. So they have a SPF 10 and oh gosh, let's see if you can see that. Um, and a 50. Um, so the thing that makes this mineral is the, the firm um, zinc oxide. So zinc oxide or titanium dioxide are the two that are the, the that are in mineral sunscreens. Our sunscreen only has the zinc oxide in it. So what happens when it has the zinc oxide is that it it actually creates a barrier in the skin so it doesn't sink down into the skin. Um, so it deflects the harmful UV rays and it doesn't get um, into your bloodstream. So unfortunately it does create a little bit thickerness and it, it it makes your, your skin kind of white and shiny. Um, so that's one kind of drawback that when you put it on, it, it, you have to kind of rub it a little bit more. Um, so there are some tips and tricks. Um, I know somebody posted recently some things that you can do. One thing is to kind of make sure it's a little bit warmer and it, when it comes out and then just use like a little bit, like a pea size and just put it on and start rubbing and rubbing. So that really helps just to make sure you just use a little bit. And then the, the other tip was to use actually a makeup um, blender and you put it on your face to kind of help with getting in all the creases like when you're putting on your kids. So that's a tip and to make sure it's a little bit warmer um, when you apply it. Um, and then the other things that I just want to mention, it does have zinc oxide in it and beeswax and other chemicals that make it go on really smooth. Um, it has a natural vitamin E and then it has some wonderful oils in it. It has helichrysum, lavender, myrrh, cistus, ylang ylang, carrot seed oil, and sacred frankincense. So all of those are in um, the sunscreen. Another little hack that I do is actually when it gets down to the bottom, I cut off, so you can tell, um, I cut it off so that I can kind of get everything in, in there because there usually is a lot left actually in the bottle. So that's another tip to, to do. Um, and then there was one more, there was a post about somebody who um, bought or got a um, Ferrisol bottle, and I just put this on that myself. Um, so you put half of the the sunscreen in, and then you add. I can put this in the comments too. Um, you put about half of the tube of sunscreen, um, some coconut oil, carrot seed oil, lavender oil in it, and then you kind of shake it up, and then it it comes more of like a, a mist when you spray it. Now I have, when I did do this, I um, wanna make sure, you know, it's not 50 SPF anymore. So you're definitely gonna have to apply it more often. It goes on easier, but don't forget that it's not gonna be a, a 50 S SPF anymore. Um, so that is another tip that I learned. And then the other, Thing I'm going to talk about, and, and Karma did briefly uh, mention it, is the, let's see if you can see that better, the lavender cooling um, mist. So she talked about the after sun um, mist, which is more like the lotion, and then this is the spray. So this can be really just a, a good um, moisturizer, and it comes out clear. So it's good really all year round. You can put, you could even Put it, you know, in your purse. You could use it at work, just when you're when you're hot or you're warm, when you're on your porch, and you just kind of need um, a cooling spray. And it has other than lavender, it does have Northern Lights Black Spruce and Helichrysum, so it's really amazing for your skin. So that's another thing that um, is uh, good for the summer. Um, and I think those are the two things that I was going to talk about. So I will put in the in the comments that um, DIY for this. Um, and then just look and see if there's any other questions. And I'm gonna pass it on to, I can't remember. Yay, Dawn! All right. Hi everyone, how are you tonight? Um, can you guys hear me okay? 
Okay, perfect. Thanks. Um, so I was reintroduced to Young Living probably about two, two and a half years ago by Tracy. Um, I worked very closely with Tracy's family and I seen all the great things it was doing in her house. And she kind of got me hooked, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. We, we spent like eight hours a day together, five days a week. It was kind of hard not to see how they were using it, what they were using it for. And it just kind of became my everyday stuff. And then she was like, well, if you're gonna use it, let, let's, let's use it, Dawn, and figure out how to do it. So I'm a very big investigator and I started investigating everything and here I am, okay. So I'm gonna talk to you tonight about baby wipes, the seedling baby wipes, um, and a lot of different hacks for them or different things. Um, we know they obviously um, clean the baby well and calm at the same time. Um, they're also great for cleaning up messes, whether it's while you're traveling in the car, they're just easy to grab. Um, another one that was interesting to me was that they can double as dryer sheets. Um, I didn't know that until I started investigating this. Also, they're really good makeup remover and you can use them for our savvy line. They work to moisten um, the brushes. So basically what you would do is take the baby wipe, wipe your brush on it and then um, stick them in whatever savvy minerals makeup you wanted and they would apply easier. Um, they're also great for freshening up like your dresser drawers and stuff like that. I personally like them for having them in our camper. We've been camping a lot lately because you've been social distance. Um, and so it's been great for whether the girls make a mess, whether they spill something. It's just a very easy thing to grab. Um, I have a pack in the camper, in my purse, in all three vehicles, I think in Aubrey's room too, if I'm not mistaken, um, which is my youngest who, who likes to make messes. Um, the second thing, oh, and they're great for a midday freshener. Um, the second thing I'm gonna talk to you guys about is lavender and grapefruit lip balms. Um, did you know that they double as a primer for like your eyeshadows for scabby minerals? If you put them on top of your, I see your face, Michelle, or Alyssa. <laughs> if you put them on top of your like eyeshadow and you put your eyeshadow on, it actually brings out the color more of the eyeshadow and it helps it stay longer. Um, it can also double as a boo-boo balm. Um, I have them in my purse, the kids' backpacks, my car, just about everywhere. There's about 20 in my house. Um, you can use them as a carrier oil and they're great for moisturizing and protecting your lips. And who am I passing it off to? Oh, sorry, thank you, Allison. Hey, no worries. Um, hold up, sorry. I was pulling up my script because that's how I work. So um, I'm Allison Van Horn. I am cross line to these beautiful people. And what that means is that we are just in a bigger organization, but they have become some of my best friends and we like to do these fun things together. But I have been using the Young Living Essential Oils for five years now. Um, I'm a mom of three littles. Um, I had three in three years. So there is a lot of chaos and need for all the emotion supporting oils in my household because there are a lot, a lot of emotions from everybody, including myself. So that was really the main thing that made me decide to do the oils. But I was a huge skeptic, turned believer when I used stress away and joy oil. And it just brought me to a happier place that I was like, okay with life with two under two, as much as you can be, right? But that is pretty much a story. And then I just kept switching out products, trying them on for size and just seeing the benefits. My kids are in daycare. I'm a physical therapist by trade and work in lots of um, rehab places and healthcare places where there's a lot of germs, especially now. And I know that I can contribute um, our health and our lack of sick days and um, out of school days due to, you know, all the good stuff that Young Living has for us. Um, and so for that, I can like never shut up about them, really. So I get to talk about something that I'm super passionate about. And that is a lot of it has to do with fitness. And I'm not going to be like, you all need to do like 17 miles a day. Like I'm not going to be that person because that's insane. I don't even do that. But 
when summer, you know, in summer, typically, or nicer weather, we tend to be outside more, right? We tend to be walking, we tend to be hiking, we tend to be swimming, we tend to be bike, whatever the case may be, we tend to be a little bit more active than we are in the winter, unless we're an avid skier and hate summer. Then this might not apply to you. But you want to make sure that you keep your bodies hydrated and replenished as much as possible because we want them to um, act properly. We want them to perform like they should, especially now, right? Um, more than ever. And so there are two products that I, well, there's lots, but I mean like two of them I'm gonna highlight right away. And one of them is brand new. I think this year, I just can't imagine life without them really. And it's the Young Living Vitality Drops. If you guys don't have these or you have not tried them yet, I highly encourage you to put them in your next essential rewards order in your monthly order because you'll get lots of points back plus you will get to feel the um, energy and the recovery that um, you didn't even know you needed honestly I wasn't a huge electrolyte um, I would have it when I was running but I wasn't an everyday electrolyte um, replenished person and honestly I used to get it from Gatorade which I didn't love because it's super sugary so and I didn't like the over-the-counter stuff so I was so excited when they there was a clean healthy uh, you know non-toxic version and they're so good. I also love these because my kids are obsessed with it. Get them to drink water more and they love the flavor. They sometimes squirt too much and it's a little intense. So what I will say is that you only need like one squirt to like eight ounces, but if you like a little bit more, you can, you know, give a little double, double tap, if you will. But um, I like both of them. There's not one that I like more. It's kind of just personal preference. But these are something that are a must have, I feel, in the summer and probably the winter too, honestly, because they just really just help our body stay in its um, optimal health. But yeah, whoever said they need to get, thank you for my Hawaii flower. Um, you, you definitely need to get them for your kids because they drink water so much more now, which is so great because I have a son who dehydrates really easily and he always has a headache. So I love that this is helping us. Um, all right. Next up is the other one that is for the same thing, replenishing your body in the heat, um, that like fatigue that you feel midday, um, or if you are exercising a little bit more intensity, you need to replenish uh, your amino acids. Uh, this has a great product. This came out, I think two years ago. I love it. I always have it after I run, or honestly, if I'm just fatigued, it just really just kind of does a great pick me up. Um, it is amino wise. Um, I'm going to read because that's how I, that's how I am, but it's made with uh, Ninja Red uh, Wolf Berries, which is in all our Ninja products. Um, if you don't know about that, it is a great antioxidant. Think of it like Golgi Berries on steroids. Um, they do great things for your body, digestion, immunity, eyesight, cardiovascular health, like anything. Um, so you want them in everything. Uh, vitamin E, lemon, lime, and zinc. So this is really good too for overall health. So I like that it has that in it too. So I tell you, even if I don't work out, I sometimes just have it anyways if I'm feeling kind of low. Um, the recommended dosage, and this is really important to note because it's, it's a preference, but I will say the recommended dose is one scoop, like one big scoop to eight ounces of water. And I will tell you, I don't prefer that. Not super yummy in my taste buds, but what I will say is increase your water to that scoop and you, it will be heaven and taste like a wolfberry lemonade. It's really good, but it is an intense if it's a smaller amount of water. Um, sometimes I put sulfur slime powder in it to kind of help support our joints and I'll attach that recipe in the group with lime. So think red drink, but I also pop amino wise in it to kind of get a bigger bang for your buck recipe, if you will. Um, the next thing that I have the pleasure to talk to uh, about, sorry, it's late, um, is all of these fun filled ninja products. And I'm telling you, they're always within like two, like a, a hand's reach of mine because that is how I survive with working as a physical therapist, survive as a mom of three, survive as a work from home parent, survive in quarantine. I can't, survival is like my middle name in my household, really. And these are my um, products that we swear by. So Ninja Red, um, we take about two ounces a day, sometimes more. Again, they're great for skin. They're great for health. They're great if you're out in the sun long. Um, you can put them in. The best thing for summer is, I'm not gonna lie, is putting these packages or 
putting a little like two ounce or an ounce, I guess, an ounce of ginger red from the bottle and like pair it with orange juice and, and water and put it in a popsicle, like those like Tupperware, like old school uh, popsicle stands and then pop them in the fridge or these and your kids and yourself will love them. They're great for a cooler day or a hot summery day to cool you off is what I meant to say. And they're just beneficial. Like my kids don't even know what a popsicle is. They just like love these. Um, and it's great. It lasts forever. It's like a good 10 minutes of messy fun. So I, we always eat it outside. So just want to put that warning out for you. Um, and then the next thing is Ninja Nitro. This is a supplement that um, I, I love. It's for cognitive boosting and just like a quick energy shot. It has no chemicals in it. So it's great. You don't get that um, I used to be a fan of Red Bull and I never did the five energy shot, the five hour energy shot, but I used to do the Red Bull. I don't know why I said the Red Bull, but I used to drink that more than I probably should have. And so I love that um, all these products have kind of switched out of that. But I like to think that this is like maybe an equivalent to a five hour energy shot, like just a quick like midday slump. Um, it gives you that instant um, energy boost. It helps you with brain fog. Um, that I have a lot of because I just am always constantly doing 600 things in my brain um, at one time. And so I love this kind of just hyper focuses me to do what I want. Um, if anybody is a runner or a long endurance athlete or has a friend that is, this has been a game changer for me on long runs. I used to do the goo. And if you're not a runner, you may not know what this is, but it's like a, I probably shouldn't say that in a recording. I used to do other things we'll go with that would mess with my digestion system and just really did not sit well, but I did it because that's what you did. You were the cool kid um, and you needed something to get through it, right? Then Ashley introduced me to this. This is great. It goes down easily. It's almost, it's liquidy enough that you don't really need an instant water and there's like no crash and no issues in your digestion system. So I highly encourage you to try this on a long hike, bike ride, swim, well not swim, but um, running. I was just trying to think of other things other than running, but this is really beneficial. I used to also do it when I was nursing because I was always tired. So I really like it with this uh, for nursing as well. And then finally, Zing, this bad boy is a staple in my house. This is the energy revitalizing drink. It has ninja red and has um, carbonated water. And then it pairs it with two oils, black pepper and lime and makes it a really great taste. I just didn't want to mess that up and I couldn't think of it, which is why I had to read the ingredients. Um, but I, black pepper, if you don't know, is a great one for revitalizing energy in a natural state. So I love that it's in there. And then lime gives it a really nice, fresh, summery taste. Uh, my husband, this is a staple in my husband's um, ER order um, every month, and we both drink this in the afternoon to kind of take the place of maybe a coffee or that horrible drink we used to drink back in the day, right? Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, those are like all kind of like the, the fun products to have on the go to kind of keep your energy high, your hydration high, um, and that midday slump low. Um, but without further ado, I'm going to pass it off off to my good friend Tracy and thanks so much Thank for you all, Allison that was awesome and I we're so glad that you guys are here my name is Tracy I guess I should introduce myself my name is Tracy and we are really glad that you're here and joining us um, I love summertime so I'm loving all these great tips because even though I've been in it since 2015 I'm always learning every single day I learn different things and we all that's how we all learn and sh when we're sharing with each other so this is awesome um, I got started, I kind of grew up in a more holistic background in California. And then when we moved to Virginia, I got away from it. Um, and then I became a nurse. And back then the medical field definitely wasn't open to what they considered alternative healing or health. Um, luckily things are changing. Um, and I kind of sought various alternative modalities through my adult life and my family. Um, and I was actually even introduced to essential oils and Young Living um, during my younger daughter's illness um, by two different doctors. One was a chiropractor and one was an MD, and it helped with her recovery. But they never told me how I could become a member or get more, and I, I had no idea that it was a thing. 
Um, and then I was reintroduced in 2015 um, to help for some things for my son, Ryan, who has multiple disabilities and medical complications. Um, and so we were trying to address some health concerns and we haven't looked back since. So it helped our entire family, like you've heard from so many people with skin stress, our guts and our tummies, our brain and focusing, which for me is really good because I tend to squirrel. Um, sleep, which is huge. Seasonal changes like breathing easy, especially living in Virginia um, with all the season and pollen changes and all that. Um, and then I learned really about replacing all these toxic chemicals that you've heard people talk about that none of us knew when we first started. I had no idea what I was using in my home and on our bodies and in our bodies was actually harmful. Who knew what the United States allows is kind of crazy compared to other developed um, countries. Um, so once we started swapping out, we noticed a huge improvement in our health. Um, and I have a connective tissue disorder as well and it's helped support me in this. And now all of us, or seeing our docs for well checks, which inc includes my son, Ryan, which that is huge because we were always at the doctor or in the hospital. So that was a huge win. Um, and a lot of what we're talking about, like the sunscreens and a lot of the summer things has so many chemicals, the sunscreens, the bug spray I used to use because I was in the yard all the time. I used that um, deep woods off, you know, the heavy duty stuff hold my nose and spray so I wouldn't be eaten alive. And now I'm like, you do not want that honor in my body and affecting my, my um, everything. It's awful. So luckily we have insect repellent. We can make our own if we want to. Um, I use both actually. I make a DIY spray that they were talking about. And I also have the insect um, repellent and the whites. Um, and it's just so many fun things. And we use a diffuser on the deck when we go out. My favorite thing these days, I posted my favorite recipe right now that we use on the deck. Um, and I use this diffuser. And so I do that. And I've noticed if I put that with one of our outdoor fans, it really kind of helps to disperse the oils and we can sit out and enjoy being outside without being eaten alive. And the few times I've forgotten to put anything on um, to go water my plants. Yep, I was attacked. So I really, really have been using um, purification and lavender because um, I think oh, I'll just run out water and it'll be fine. No, no, they eat me. So thank goodness for our oils for pre and post insect uh, contact, right? Um, so if you're um, just learning how, if you're here and just learning how beneficial Young Living will be to you and your family, Yay and welcome. We're so excited you're here. Um, and what I want to share with you is the best way to get started is with this beauty right here. So this is our premium starter kit. And it comes, it comes like, it um, has a cover, the sleeve comes off and it comes with 12 oils. And a lot of these oils um, that you've heard all the ladies talking about are in this kit. So you can get this and start using right away. Plus it comes with a diffuser, so you can start diffusing when you're sitting outside um, or in your house. So we have diffusers in every room as well as taking them outside. Um, so this kit comes with the oils and I'm not gonna go through everything. I just wanted to show it to you. Um, and then in the bottom, there's this whole other section. So you want this, it's got samples of the Ninxia Red, which Allison was just talking about, and which you may or may not have seen me chugging. No, this is not straight Ninxia. Um, on its own, it is actually a recycled bottle and it's the Nature Red drink that she was talking about. So it's Nature Red and Sulfurzyme and Lime and filtered water. And then I also like to add, add amino wise in there sometimes or um, sometimes a nitro. Um, it also has um, the Thief Spray and hand sanitizer. So those are also perfect for right now and summertime. And it's got um, two roller fitments that you can pop on any of the oils. And I'm telling you, even if you just use, use it on peppermint or um, lavender, something like that, it's going to help your skin. And then in, here, in the kit, there's also frankincense. So if you use lavender and frankincense post sun exposure, if you've gotten too much sun, it really helps to calm things down and um, 
helps to repair your skin so you're feeling much better. Um, but there are a few ways that you can order. So you can get started with a premium starter kit. That's $165, which is a huge value um, because you get these oils and all the other goodies and the diffuser. And then you become a wholesale membership, kind of like BJ's um, for life. And then you get, you can also do premium starter kit and essential rewards. And that's our op, um, optional, I'll speak in a minute, our optional monthly wellness box program. And it's not, you're not obligated anything like that. However, you can get the oils and then add on a few of these summer um, essentials like the insect repellent or the sunscreen or whatever you'd like to add on. Um, but I know since we've started, we've been on it the entire time I've been on, um, I've been a Young Living member and we have gotten well over $10,000 worth of free stuff just for using Young Living instead of going to Target or Walmart. Um, or you can talk to the person that invited you or one of us and we can get creative on how you can get started. However, there's so many options and that's the beauty of Young Living. Um, and the, one of the huge things is that I, I'm sure you've seen is our community. So once you join um, and who you enroll with is extremely important because that's the community you're in and that's your family, your oily family. As you can tell, this is such a great community and we all just work so well together and um, we're all, you know, we're not all necessarily in the same, what we call team, um, but we just, it's great because we can share a cross line like Allison was talking about. Um, and it's just, it really is one big oily, happy family or happy oily family. Um, so I just want you to get with the person who invited you to this event and they can help you get started. Um, if you have any questions or you have any, um, um, want any other ideas on what you can do for summertime, we're happy to share. And we're also, um, you can save at the bottom of this. I'm not sure if it's saved, Michelle thought it is, but just in case, on the bottom in your little chat box, if you're on your PC, there's three little dots and you can click on that and it'll save the chat thread and you can save the recipes in there. And then also we started in a, we started with the Facebook group. So if you're on Facebook, Hop in those groups and you'll see some recipes we've been posting and we'll continue to share some other recipes as far as food or diffuser blends or drinks. Michelle just posted a great uh, orange martini one that just sounds really amazing, um, but all kinds of fun stuff. So if you have any questions, um, I think we can um, finish up and we'll stop the recording and then we can talk freely and you can ask, ask away without having to worry about being on camera. But thank you so much for joining us and I hope you guys have a great night.